Hi everyone, uh, just answering a couple of questions I got uh, over the last two or three months or so uh, and one I got asked uh, quite a lot actually is uh, uh, what's the difference between a Chinese partridge skin and an English partridge because the, you will notice there is a difference in price and you can see the differences in straight away if I get the naturals together there's the size, uh, they're far bigger uh, though they look very similar, I mean to be honest with you there are advantages of both. I mean, obviously, uh, you've got a lot more grey, I find, a lot more to dye. If you want to dye uh, these Chinese partridges, you get this lovely lighter colour. Well, even though you have some nice down here on the English, but they tend to have a wee bit more colour in them. But I'm happy with either. Uh, I like using both. The brown side, now, unfortunately, I've been using this one, so you can't see it all, but uh, the brown. If you look, is much darker on the English partridge. There's a lot more feathers there, a ton of feathers uh, in that. Uh, uh, so basically you can get a lot more out of that. Though it's, you will pay uh, twice the price. You'll probably pay about 20 or probably less. I mean, if I was going, I'd go with the, the English most times though, but I'm happy, as I say, to go. Now, I've seen these on the internet. The dyed and natural, around about the £20 mark. So some under, some over. Uh, on the, the English partridge, I've seen them again under 30 but and, and over. It just depends on who's, where they are coming from and who's selling them. Uh, so that it's up to yourself. Now, the feathers, the other question I got was what feathers do you use? Um, I mean, obviously, the grey and the brown are more the main feathers that you would use. Uh, they're no head on these ones, the Chinese, but if you get the English, they will tend to find that if you get the head, then these feathers, I love using these up in small, small wet flies, especially nymphs as well. The grey obviously can be used as they are, and as well as been dyed. You've got the brown, which everybody uses. This is the main feather here. You can use the covert feathers, I, I love using these as well. The primary feathers, not so good, the, and both birds are so not very good. The secondary feathers are nice, these are much better, you can use them for small wet flies, uh, you can use them on uh, whatever. Uh, the tail feathers, now you can buy them separate normally, tail feathers, they are mainly used for wings. There is a cinnamon colour at the back, if you can see that there, but the nice cinnamon feather. You can see it there, it's there, and obviously you get the speckled one I've used over the years. They're not the easiest feathers to use because they're quite tapered long, but you can use them up, and there are certain flies recommend them. And on the Chinese, you do have the same. You have this, there's a the cinnamon there. I would say these ones in this are quite good, they're actually quite tight. So, but anyway, uh, so there's the main feathers you can use. The larger brown ones I use in mayflies as well as... Uh, some mini lures and stuff, I've used them over the years. Now, as I said, the, you can buy the both dyed if you wish. Now, this is a dyed one here, obviously this is a light olive. There's lots of feathers here I can use, where the side feathers. I mean, these are nice and soft. I've used them mayflies as much as these ones. Uh, obviously the brown, you can see there it's darkened them down really well. These are lovely to use in dries and wets. Uh, so, all the way up and then Obviously the grey, you've got this nice olive. Uh, again, it could be used in nymphs, mainly in nymphs, but I like to use them uh, in the dry flies. I like to use the soft hackle through a cock hackle. Uh, and then these side feathers, I uh, use them in mayflies. they uh, really nice colour. So they are, especially this when you're tying mayflies. So basically that's the difference between the English partridge and the Chinese is the size, price obviously. But you will get a lot more of the nice brown colour out of the, the, the English partridge than you'll get out of the, the, the Chinese. So there we are. I hope that helps you a wee bit. I hope that gives you some information. If you don't want to buy the skins, you can obviously buy the packs. These are the ones for Cooksill, with Benyards. You've got other companies who sell the partridge in different colours. This is mainly these grey that have been dyed. And uh, it's when the when the skins maybe are, are damaged, you'll, they'll pull the feathers off them. 
and sell them separate. So there we are. I say that's the difference between the Chinese and the and the English battery skin. So anyway, hope you found that uh, useful. And again, thanks for watching.